Well, I came out here and the wind just kind of started blowing and stuff like that. This is slid up. So don't follow me, boys and girls, because I'm off the path. And there are snakes out here. These are the woods. This is not the zoo. I keep telling you. I'm different. Do you. Don't do me. But watch out for snakes. You know, when you grow up naturally in nature, you just, uh, you look for some, oops. What? <laughs> the tree, the tree. <laughs> Hello, tree. Okay. The tree just, the tree, wait a minute. The tree grabbed me. The tree grabbed me. It says, okay, you know what? Let's look here. I'm going to take that as a cue. Mommy says, there really are snakes out here. And uh, poison ivy or poison oak, too. It's a different type of stuff. Anyway, do you? Come on. Let's go through. Let's go through this way, okay? Because you do not have on your hiking boots today. You have on your uh, regular tennis shoes. There's a reason why rangers wear hiking boots. And you have hiking boots too. So anyway, oh, I'm utilizing the house and I'm handling my biz. Flags out there flying. There was the flags and the whole it was a whole atmosphere. This is my ish, nature nerd. Nature therapy. Looking for the infamous beaver. As we come up on the beaver moon. Too. You know what? You know when you can't trust anybody. However, I thought, thought, thought I heard the crow says, You can trust us, gal. I know, I do. The ones who don't know who I trust, the ones who don't think I do, they think I don't see them in reality. They try to leave me with the options so they can turn around and be a hero in my story. Wrong answer, Jack. <laughs> Which Jack would that be? Jack can get Jack Jack back into the Red Sea. Anyway, oh, you love coming out here with family. Who get it? We really don't care about your politics. We really don't care about your politics. We're just out here for therapy and just to live and be free. Don't I have the right to be? Who wants to make a slave out of me? Did y'all kill the whole, cl that whole crew in reality? Now we sit still. Therapy time. Future therapy. Did I remind you that my mother would shoot somebody? Wow, Bob, Bob heard that. Heard something drop. I talked about my mother. <laughs> the confirmation drop. Yep, my mother would shoot somebody as much as look at them if they mess with me. Oh, what will my daddy do? Seriously? So what if I, what if he's, what if it's not my imagination? Or maybe it is. Here's the one thing I know about uh, your imagination and your, um, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Your energy. Yeah. That's some personal ish. If the law of attraction is real. And I know they say you, what you attract, whatever's, whatever you're looking for is looking for you. But what are you looking for? Really, maybe you should be looking for you. There are some people circles going round, round. What did I hear? I heard a voice. Circles going round, round. Circles going round. What are your circles? I'm good with my circles. My circles are small, but my circles don't need to be big for me to take care of the ball. I'm going to let Mother Nature and the sun and the earth and the celestials do what they do. And I'm going to sit here and be that little known celebrity and storyteller. Dropping cues and clues. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, jeez. 
Mother Nature has the amazing ability to incorporate different types of colors and did you hear that? Okay, that is a bird asking to be recognized. <laughs> See that okay, we know that's the towel we, but this, we know that's the towel we, but this bird here, oh, oh, hello babies, there go more birds right there, oh, there goes a squirrel, birds and squirrel, oh my god, the birds and squirrel, look like I can play, hold up, I hear something, I hear a lot of shit, okay. Or could be. It's a nature crate. Do you hear the noise? ASMR. There's really a lot going on right now. <laughs> okay, that just dropped. Water's just dropping. The water is popping. <clears throat> you know what? There's no way I could sell this because I mean, you know, what what is it to sell? It's just me doing what I do very well, whatever that is. My ability to plug into nature and just really like, you know, <laughs> connect with this is. Whew. But I be hearing everything. The squirrels, the birds of all kinds, and you know, training's going around too. Ooh, the training that comes through. You know, it was sounding like animals. <laughs> Satellite animals. It was satellite, you know, maybe lions and tigers and bears coming through. I don't know. I was looking for a beaver, but uh, instead, <laughs> this came true. You, you, oh! <laughs> you, you had two lights, then you cut one off, then you cut the other one off. Okay. This gives for you. Wait a minute. Uh oh. My husband and I's favorite song was Alexander O'Neill. My gift to you. It is way too soon for Christmas. Or maybe not. Maybe that's the deal. Maybe we can get everybody in a Christmas mode. I'm just saying, take the uh, buying out everything. Or go ahead and do. Those of you who got money woes that want to get caught up in the hype, do you, right? But those of you who are frugal about your money and you're that type, I'm just saying, get into the energy. I now they're not monkeys out here, but I swear to God, it sounds like chimps. And then you stop, but you don't. I don't know. Stay focused. Anyway. The animals are at play today. Dallin, you having a good day? I am, I am, I am, I am. It started out some kind of way, but I'm having a brilliant day. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say about energy and Christmas. See, um, you, you're lo the law of attraction. You look at people who are miserable, who want to talk about miserable stuff all the time. Listen, I talk about miracle stuff on my time. Miracle stuff. Not miserable. I talk about miracle stuff and miserable stuff on my time because you know it's a balance. And as long as you understand it's a balance, people who are happy all the time are not happy. In reality, there is no such thing. That is the tea. That is the tea and the coffee and whatever you need. There is no such thing. People are like this all the time. I ain't got no problem. They're the ones who got problems. We have a perfect marriage and we never fight. That would be a lie. I mean, come on.
military people know what we're talking about. You have many fights in a military house. But not like some of the fights that they do. Oh my God, you got these hood rats who want to run up on you. And you forget that we're legal too. We're more soldiers than you will ever be. Bitch, I'm not the one you want to play with. Or maybe fuck around, find out and see. I don't know. I'm just a lesson or a blessing. It be what it be. But anyway, back to me. The point of the matter is that this law of attraction thing, I decide that I'm just going to stay in my happy, happy. I won't talk about my stuff from time to time or what's going on in my life that's not fine just because I want it to be a record set by me. I'm not going to let social media or YouTube tell my story. Bitch, are you kidding? They're all bought out for the tear of the feet. So this story is authentically me, made by me. Thank you, nature, for this wonderful therapy. And it's free for right now. I mean, we're going to see that everything's always about money. You know, the funny thing about money is money doesn't make it better. Money does make it better, but money doesn't always make it better, especially when that money serves as your moral code. This you don't know. that They're the wealthiest of the wealthiest of the wealthiest. No. That it wasn't their money that made them happy. It's what they were able to do with the money. Or if they could make it work. If it was productive. Or did it become a liability. Trust me. When it comes to liability. Everyone gets put in the dirt. I don't care how big you think you are. Whether you're a Rock Nation Rockefeller. Or whether you're the Rockefeller Rockefeller. By the way. Did you know that at the height of the billionaire thing. Self-made billionaire that uh, Andrew Carnegie was more of a billionaire than than Rockefeller, than John D. Rockefeller. Oopsies. Yeah, that's the thing. That's true. And uh, it was different attitudes, but you know, legacy meant legacy. That's what they do. What is that I see in the water? Circles going round, round. So what legacy are you, Val? I don't know. I'm just, you know, a chick walking to and fro in the woods, doing good, doing me. Represent my legacy, whatever it be. Maybe this is my legacy. Look at me. Oh, what is that? One, two, three, four. Looks like a crown and more. Anyway. So I guess this is squirrels. We'll see. Okay. Beaver moon. This is, okay. Solid. Got it. Beaver moon. That's what we're coming up in Friday with the full moon, the beaver moon. What is the beaver moon about? The beaver moon is about preparing for winter, preparing and storing. Be the squirrel. Not That's what you want me to say. Be the squirrel, not the nuts. <laughs> Be the squirrel, not the nuts. Now, they feel like I'm nuts. They feel like I'm nuts. But because I'm looking at demons that I know I can't trust, because I'm looking at foes that I know I can't trust. Because I'm looking at fools that I know if that DNA comes out, I'm going to kill you for real. Bitch, I am the real deal. You don't know what you feel because you've never felt. And you've never felt up on me too. That would be the real story. Oh my God, they want to. Bitch. Do you and your show and your hoe or whatever it be. I'm out here studying with Mother Nature and the trees and the birds and the bees. God, y'all are busy today. I see you, squirrely. I see you. I hear you, too. The squirrels are busy. They are prepping. They are prepping for food. They are prepping for a cold, strange one. They're prepping. They're getting their harvest in. Oh, there you go. It's still squirrel season. Screw October, November, and December. We're gathering our nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we trust? We trust in us. Follow nature. Nature has always been consistent. 
I hear you, Burby. Nature has always been consistent. Consistent with me. This really is where I get my therapy. This is where I can breathe and it's free. But you literally want to take my happy away from me because you have no happy in your soul. You're low down, diabolical. Is that how the story goes? And people smile in my face knowing that you are like one step or half step away from Mariko. But you mad at me. She snitched. No, you snitched on yourself. I'm doing that ignorant shit with me. But I let it go. Didn't have to lie. Who took care of your kids when you was sucking and fucking on a pot? Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't have time to play industry games today, okay? Santa says... I'm good. I wanted to see a beaver today. But, you know, I, I see what I need to see. Same thing, by the way. It's about harvesting and gathering your jewels. Gather your oil. Do you have oil in your lantern? <gasps> That's a story, says Saturn. Some people got no water, some people got no oil, some people got no friends, some people got no kin. Some of us don't have none of them, and yet we have all of them. If you know, you know. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's nature therapy, music therapy. Self-love, Venus says. Or not. <laughs> Hashtag Nestle of P.S. Squirrels Rock. Remember, be the squirrel, not the nut. Bye.